Hi, I'm Eric. And I'm Maddie. Welcome to The Gutters, my audio journal. Um, if you listen to the last episode of The Gutters, this is a bit of a special thing because Maddie and I are here to discuss our uh, vacation that we took in uh, early 2024, uh, the first part of which is uh, was uh, our, our uh, uh, Disney cruise experience. Yes. And so because that was uh, about an hour-ish, uh, because I'm re- we're, we're, we're recording both parts of the, on the same day, so I don't know how long <laughs> actually it's going to be. But it was about an hour, and I decided to break up uh, the next phase of our vacation, which is our trip to Disney World. And in, Universal Studios. And Universal Studios. One day there. So we're going to talk about our experiences there. And uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be the topic. Madison? This just like with the cruise, this was your first experience going to Disney World. Yes. So, what were you when we were talking about doing this trip? And and I should back up a little bit because the Disney World aspect of this uh, f- family vacation wasn't originally part of our itinerary. It was just going to be the cruise. Yes. And then my daughter Brittany got this notion. That, hey, since we're already <laughs> going to be in Florida, why don't we stay a few more days and go to Disney World? You know, and she's she's a Disney. What do they what does she call herself? Hi. Disney. <laughs> That's not what she calls herself. I know. But sorry. She is. What are they? What, Disney fan. I don't. There's a, there's a particular f- word or phrase that she uses when she talks about her. The fandom of Disney and, and how much she likes it. I don't remember what it is now, but. Anyway, so yeah, she, we, you know, we were going to be there, even though the year before, about a year before, we went to Disneyland with them and the and the kids. <laughs> and again, just like the last, like I said last time, uh, in two thousand five, uh, my wife Brittany and I went on a cruise and then came back and went to Disney World, and actually met my friend, uh, my friend Greg, there on he was one of those Disney days. World with you. One one of the days he came uh, when we were going to go to the Marvel uh, World or Island of Adventure hmm. uh, thing, so that, where we walked through that one night. Same thing. It was um, so at Universal Studios. No, then. it's oh, you're right. It was. <laughs> you're right. Yes, yes. We went. That's right. We went to Disney World and we we went to Universal Studios because of the Marvel Island of Adventure. So okay. Or the Marvel area of the Islands of Adventure. So this is my second time going back to Disney World as well. And so just like I asked you last time, so what were you what were you looking forward to uh, at Disney World? And what was your just overall general impression of Disney World? So I was also really excited about Disney World because I really like theme parks and I really like Disneyland. I enjoy it there. And I was really looking forward to the main area of Walt Disney World, which is um, Magic Kingdom and um, Epcot. Like those were the two places I was looking forward to the most. Why? So and, wait, uh, why Magic Kingdom? Um, Magic Kingdom because like it's fairy tale land and it has the. Um, it has Cinderella's Castle, because I've seen Aurora's Castle many, many times. But Cinderella's Castle... Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean you've seen Aurora's Castle many, many times? You've not seen Aurora's Castle many, many times. You saw it once. I've seen it many times. On TV. Okay, so I saw it when I went with you guys, and then when I was there for my oh, music trip. Okay, so that's twice. But we kept going back to it. Like no, 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 no. You can't, you can't count that. It's, it's, no. Okay, Sorry. Fine. You've seen it I've twice. I've seen it. You've seen it twice. I've seen it. and I... <laughs> I'm sure the listeners love this banter. Okay, so there's that. Uh, why Epcot? Because that kind of surprised me. Well, Epcot, because it's all the different like places in the world, and I like to see that kind of stuff. Uh, and that oh, that over, um, let's see, what, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom. I was kind of looking forward to Animal Kingdom, but from what I've seen and heard, it just it didn't seem like there was very much to do there. OK. And with um, Hollywood, it just seemed like a lot of the same of 
in Disneyland. The only thing well, that was different was Tower of Terror, but it's the same ride, just different overlay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say it's, <laughs> with a few exceptions, it's pretty much the same thing yeah. between the two uh, coasts. But anyway, all right. Okay. So um, I was I was excited to go to Animal Kingdom because last time that we were in at Disney World, uh, we could not go or it wasn't. I don't remember now, but we didn't go to Animal Kingdom. And Brittany, I remember being very disappointed about that. Probably because we only paid for so many parks. I don't I don't remember now. Instead of doing the thing that Brittany always does, which is like either all parks one day for every single park or the park hoppers. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, yeah, I don't remember, but um, uh, I was very much looking forward to going back to Epcot because mm-hmm. that was my favorite part of Disney World last yeah, time. Yeah, I was so excited about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Universal Studios, we've obviously went there before. Yes. Uh, when we went to uh, California. Universal Studios LA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So why did you want to go back to Universal Studios in Florida? Because Universal Studios Miami is has a whole different setup it's like it doesn't have a lot of the same things but with harry potter it had like diagon alley it had the dragon it had like all the like what i was really wanting to see in la was in miami yeah because because the 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 california version is very much a small bit yeah, it's like uh, I would say the the one in Florida is roughly double in size and in, in terms of what is there. Yes. So that, you know, yeah, that that was that was neat. And that's where I got Eduardo. But that was um, that was uh, the, the whole point of us going to Universal was to explore Harry Potter land or whatever you want to call it. So the two areas at, at Universal that are Harry Potter uh, related. Uh, even though we did end up walking through other lands yeah. to get to those between those two areas. So but that was pretty much all we did. Yeah. What was the one like main land we walked through? Because it was like very. I don't want to say Greek, but like kind oh. of temple like like um, ruins. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of like the mm, I'm going to say like ancient God theme. I, I'm sure that they skinned it a different way in in, in the past. Uh, but because that's why I was saying Greek. Yeah, in it's, that it's, way. Well, it's sort of, but it's also there was some uh, there was like a little small Arab area, Arab like yeah. area. And there's there was a whole bunch of little different parts. It's kind of like Epcot uh, in a way. I was going to say because that's well, why okay. I was confused wait, wait, wait. about what it was supposed we're ju- to be. We're jumping ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is, you know, uh, talk about each day. Day that, by day. Uh, uh, talk about each day and uh, what we did and what we liked and whatnot. OK. And so got a little preview there. All right. So day one. We arrive. We we arrive like uh, like I ended up uh, last or like how the last episode ended up. We got on a bus and they drove us to our uh, Disney resort, which was. Art of Animation. Which you were pretty excited about, I I think, right? I was very excited about Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. because it's the art um, area for the um, resort. So. What were the the on the grounds of the place? What were the distinguishing features of art of animation? Um, what do you mean? The like the the the, the statues and stuff. Oh, so like um, the Lion King statues. Like as we're walking through, there's so, like a uh, cars area for it. Well, which we so, went through once. So there were so each there uh, each area had its own little theme. Like yes. you said, there's cars. There was um, Lion King. Lion there King, was li- uh, Little, Mermaid. Little Mermaid, and there was Finding Nemo. Right, and we were in the Little Mermaid. Little, Little Mermaid building area. Yes, and so you would walk by. You walk through the. I'll just say the the, the grounds of this hotel, which were many different buildings. Yes. Uh, and we happen to be in the furthest one away from the transportation yeah, we and were. food area. The we cafeteria. had to walk through Lion King every day. Yeah, um, yeah. And then we would pass by um, Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo and then get to Little Mermaid. Yeah. yeah get yelled at by the seagulls. And and uh, what was kind of neat about that is as we walked up to our building, there is a statue of Prince Eric. 
Yes, your younger self, my, your my, alter ego. My alter ego, yes. And I, I wanted to get a picture of me with myself, and it never happened. Well, you, we tried to get you to. I know. To. I, I was not feeling it that day. So anyway, so we did that. Um, uh, and then as soon as we got checked in, uh, they they took our, our luggage, and they were going to deliver it to our room. And we got on another, like a shuttle or something. Yeah. No, no, no. It was another bus, wasn't it? Yep. To Animal Kingdom, because that yep. was the first park that we uh, were going to attend. And we got there about 10 or 11, I want to say. Something around that. But yeah, we were all really hungry. So we started with food. And yeah, we walked through a little bit and, you know, it's being Animal Kingdom. And we come come to this kind of like safari style set of buildings, like they built them in Africa or something. Yeah. And um, the first uh, thing you see, we walk over this little this little bridge and on the left is a big old crocodile yeah. in, in this in this water area. Yeah, he was real big. He oh my god. I've never been that close to a real alligator like that. Uh I've been to zoos where there are alligators, but I mean it was That's the one that Disney caught and put out. <laughs> was it was right there. Yeah, it was. Now it was just it was just sunbathing. It was napping or something. It wasn't moving around or anything. But it was just impressive to see how big it was. Yeah, because you would, I feel like, really have to look to see it because when you're just walking by, like, you can't, I didn't get it out of I know, I did. My but... eye, and I was like, <laughs> well, when I went over to look at it, it was like in the shade. Well, yeah, that's so true. So I was like, that's I... true. Um, and then, yeah, we went in and had, had lunch. Uh, it was like uh, burgers and chicken strips and fries type of situation. Corn dogs. Corn dogs, yeah. Um, but it was chili actually. dogs, yeah. Oh, that's right. We got the chili dogs, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. The very big chili dogs. Yes. Um, it's actually actually a pretty good lunch, considering. Yeah. Pretty good food, I mean. The place so, that we ate lunch, like, seemed really mechanical looking to me. What do you mean by mechanical? Like, I don't know how to explain it. Just. I'd say rustic. Sure. Okay. Let's go with that. All right. Because I don't know how to explain what I was, what, like, I see. So. All right. Uh, afterwards we rode a dino themed Dumbo like ride with, uh, well, Brittany and Lucas rode with their kids and Kitter and I rode together. You were being lame for some reason at that point and you didn't want to get on. So you didn't at first either. And then you changed your mind. And yeah, then I saw Kevin again. Kevin. Oh, up the bird. Yeah. So there was, yeah, there was this. What was that? A do- was it a dodo bird or what? What is it supposed to be? I don't remember what kind of bird he is, but he's a really big bird. And yeah. he's like really loud and obnoxious. Yeah. So this, this, yeah, somebody was dressed up in this colorful, like rainbow colored bird that was like, I swear to God, eight, ten feet tall. Yeah. He's a really big bird. Yeah. So, yeah. Because, yeah, watching he's, Up, he's, is, when you watch Up, just seeing him by, like, the other characters. Oh, that it was from Up. Okay. Yeah. I actually didn't, I did not know that. <laughs> I've forgotten that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, we had lunch. Oh, we went to this play area for with the kids yes. where they could dig in. It was the dinosaur, like, um... Boneyard, yeah, yeah, um, kind of play area. Yeah, it's really just uh, an excuse to, for the kids to sit down and the adults to relax too, uh, while they dug in this pebble-like yeah. stuff. Yeah, and so. what Hudson kept getting me to play with him because whenever I would stop, he'd come over and just be like, "Uh, excuse you, what are yeah. you doing?" Yeah, um, I have on here dinosaur ride. Yeah, we went on a dinosaur ride. What was that? Re- remind me what that was. It's kind of like set up like the Indiana Jones ride. But oh, a right. little different. Right. Okay. So you yeah, you've got uh the scientists who they, they have a time portal and they want to go back to right before the big asteroid hits the earth and destroys everything to bring back one of the dinosaurs, yeah. a particular dinosaur, and uh we are caught up in the whole adventure. So it's it's like one of those uh motion ride type things. Yeah, I it's, didn't like the ride because it was really, really dark. Yeah. Yeah, you don't like this. Yeah, <laughs> I feel I know, like I would have really enjoyed it because I love dinosaur stuff. Yeah, but because of that, it's like I. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The uh, the next ride. Uh, so so yeah, basically, the, our, I feel like our trip to Disney World, unlike on the cruise ship, is very much punctuated by the rides we rode, 
the food we ate, and then we collapse into a heap at night because we're so freaking tired. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So the next thing I have here on my list is the Avatar Flight of Passage. And so if you've ever done... No, wait, Avatar. Is that the one where they, they strapped us in? Um, or is that the one where it's more like... Um, what's that one? Uh, Soren. There were there were there were two Avatar rides. Like one was one was one, one was where we got strapped in, but that's the like last Avatar one we did. Yeah, okay. the one we did before that was more of a water ride. More of a water ride. More of a water. Oh, more of ride. a water ride. Yeah, like you're in these like it's little a flight boats. of passage though. N- that's no, the name of the ride. Or did I, did I get the two rides mixed up I'm, here? I think you might have gotten them mixed up. Okay, well. All right. So yeah, the we yeah, we get in this yeah, it's a water ride. We're right we're floating along among this wonderful ava- the world of Avatar. Yes. And that was that was one of the things I really liked was the Avatar area because yes. everything they had set up, it was like you were you were literally uh like you were literally. It was like you were in or on an alien world. Yeah, and it was really cool. I love like how fluorescent the world yes. is. Yes, and just- well, fluorescent and um, uh, day glow, I would say too. So just really bright colors. Mm-hmm. But when we were there, when it was getting dark, that's where it was like. That's oh, wow. why I really liked it when it was dark and everything like with the black lights was yeah. glowing, and yeah. I really yeah. liked it. That was cool. That was probably my favorite. That area was really cool. Uh, the way it looked, you know, the overall yeah. uh, look of the place. You know, the Star Wars stuff is is kind of neat, is, you know, if you're a Star Wars yeah, nerd. But I'm but, not. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not really either. But um, uh, so, you know, it, it, it was nice. Um, we also went on the Expedition Everest coaster. Yeah, but that was after the Flight of Passage. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, so. That was the last thing we did before we I don't went. remember... I don't remember that one. What's that one? Expedition Everest. That's the roller coaster me, you, Bernie, and Lucas went on. Yeah. And it's the one that was in the mountain. Yeah. And you are like going all over the place, forwards, and then you think you're going to just... Oh, this is the one that goes forwards and backwards. Yeah. Okay. So uh, there's another coaster that we rode. The Yeti one. With the Yeti. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. It was a coaster. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) I've I've ridden uh, better coasters. But it was the fun. flight of passage, right? We didn't talk about that, but that w- that's a different day, though. No, it isn't. You're no, right. It's not. You're right. But that one is a lot of fun. So talk about that one. So with that one, you pretty much you go into the like a room and it's virtual reality. And you get sat down like you're being strapped onto like a. Like, yeah, what what's it's more of like a motorcycle that you're being strapped yeah. onto, and this um well you, the whole it was, so the whole idea is that they connect you like just like in the movie yes to an avatar, an avatar of I don't even, it's been so long I I've, I've seen that movie once but into one of the 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 aliens on that planet and you ride one of those winged creatures which yes. I don't remember the name of either well I also don't remember seeing them in the first movie yeah they were. Okay, because yeah. I was like, I don't really remember. We do need to watch the second but, one, though. But you, yeah, so it's like a virtual reality yes. type thing. And you, that, that was cool. That was probably I one of the coolest that, things right? that we did. It was a lot of fun. Yes, yes. Because um, it's, I mean, yeah, well, it, that's that's right. So that one's kind of like Soren in the sense that you're flying around and stuff, yes. but they, they, they throw water spray in your face uh, um, when when you get close to the ocean and or waves splash up and so things like that, right? Yeah. And it was, yeah, it was just really cool. But yeah, you have to get, like she was saying, you have to get like you're getting on like a motorcycle type thing. But they really, you have to lean forward and they strap you in from the back. Mm-hmm. So this 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 thing comes in and basically squishes you into the seat instead of having like a front lap belt or or a bar to pull down or something like that, right? And so I don't know. I it was it was a bit uncomfortable, a little bit. I feel think? like I feel like at first it was, but I um eventually kind of got comfortable with it. And yeah, just, I, like, I, I did too. But I kind of like sunk into it. And but I was after like, fine. after walking around and standing in lines and stuff all day long, I was like, oh my god, I can barely get into this thing. <laughs> For me, it's nice though because of, like my um 
But so okay, so you but it you felt you felt uh, okay with that. Yes. I I thought maybe you wouldn't like being strapped in like that though. No, I like it. Okay. It makes me feel. Sweet. All right. And so I think the next thing we did is we went and had dinner. And yes. um we were I don't think we were planning on going to this place. It just kind of happened. We were Brittany was planning it, oh, but okay. we were going to go later. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, mm-hmm. we had dinner reservations at like 8. No. At oh, where? Um, the Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> Rainforest Cafe, which, as Madison and I were talking about uh, our our trip before we started recording, it's like, why would you want to go to someplace like that when there's all these other options? But we went, and you know, really, it's for the kids, right? So they, I really, and I know it. you like it. So I don't know if if you've never been to a Rainforest Cafe, it's just like you walk in, and it's like you're in the jungle, and. Uh, every once in a while, uh, there's a storm or something, yes. and the animals get animated a little bit. They all start going crazy, and they start they start yelping. And well, anyway, it's just, it's a it's a whole thing, and the food is not great, uh, <laughs> according to me. Anyway, it, it, it was fun. The whole gift shop, and then then there's the gift shop. Yeah, that's where I got a save a monkey bracelet. It's, it's so kitschy. So anyway, we went there. <laughs> And I never want to go to a rainforest cafe ever again. There goes that sponsorship. All right. Uh, Day two. Day two was the big day. This was my. This uh, was the day we were most excited. My most the most the day I was most looking forward to. And um, then we got uh, a bit of the Florida summer weather because it rained. It was so cold. It rained all day. And it was not light rain. No, no. So, yeah, that put a damper on our, our day, but we yeah, we forged we, on. Yeah, because we weren't prepared for it. We didn't have any nope. of the like stuff. So nope. we had I had brought like <laughs> my like wind jacket, which yeah. helped a little bit. Breaker. Yeah. But then was completely soaked yeah. and didn't do anything. And I, and I was wearing like shorts, skirt, like yeah. I was just not you were ready crazy. for it. I was so cold. I mean, we, the, we could see what the weather was like when we were at the hotel, and you still went like that. I don't understand it. Fashion over comfort. <laughs> Spoken like a young person. Okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, I had I had brought my... Um, Until my, they started complaining my outdoor, and got sweatpants. My outdoor jacket, or not jacket, coat, because it has a... Uh, an inner shell that I can unzip and that's what I wore on the plane but I also have this the over part the the overcoat part which is water resistant so I had that at least and I wore pants um not shorts uh but yeah it was just miserable with the kids they didn't like they didn't like being in the in the rain all that especially Hudson boy he was not happy that day uh I don't think any of us were despite that we still forged on like I said uh, we rode the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. What is special about that? Well, so I would describe that ride as Space Mountain on steroids. Yep. And so uh, you're going around in this coaster uh, in the dark for the most part. There's, But there's videos playing. I was going to say, yeah, you, but it's not like Space Mountain. It's, it's not mostly, super dark. Yeah, you yeah. can actually see, which well, is you, why I enjoyed it. Yeah. But, but it's, so it's like this mini movie uh, uh, mm-hmm. featuring the Guardians of the Galaxy yes. characters. And and uh, not only that, but the cars that you're in actually rotate a little bit. Yeah. So it's not like a, you're just facing forward the whole time. They actually turn. 90 degrees. Yeah. And so I've never been on a coaster that does that. And it was fun. Uh, Hadley it was hated it. Yeah, but she didn't like it. Yeah. But. Well, you know, you and Brittany both, you didn't like coasters at first when you were younger either. So yeah, you, you, you get over it. Yeah. Uh, Usually. And, and this is the one where they play a particular song for your ride. And that song is different. It's not the same song every yeah. time. And do you remember the song? I cannot recall the song. I don't remember. Did you ask Brittany? I did. And she never got back to me. Oh, of course. <laughs> but what if I just like text her right now. <laughs> no. Uh, so there was that. Um, I, w- I wouldn't mind writing that again. Just like that the, the Avatar ride. I would yeah. ride that one again. If we were ever at Disney World, and I don't plan on being in Disney World ever again. But if we ever, we ever go back to Disney World, I would ride those two rides for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, I really wanted to go on Mission Space. 
And I had done that with Kitra and Brittany back in 2005 when there was only one ride. And it's that one. And, but now there are two. It's it's the one that we rode back then. And this more gentle version. We got because I, I was just thinking they only had that one. And we get there. I'm like, wait a minute. There's the more gent. I see the sign. And it says, you know, the more gentle Earth orbit one. Or you can go to Mars uh, in the other one. And so rem- remembering how much force uh there is in the mars one because basically it's emulating a rocket ride like you're blasting off from earth and when you arrive on mars you have to perform certain functions but there's you know a lot of shaking and gravity uh changing and stuff because you're you're going onto the planet of mars and so knowing that um certain people don't like that kind of stuff and i was afraid that you might get sick speak of the devil um, yeah, it's because the v- virtual reality kind of things m- mess with my head and make me feel really, really sick or just lightheaded. But this, is what, this wasn't virtual reality. Well, no, but because of how, like, the window you're looking in was, it well, gave just... off that kind of same effect for, to oh, me. Okay, okay. It made me f- Sick. Well, so they, when you get the ride, you get strapped in in these seats and uh, you play up, you perform a function. One, one of us is an engineer, one is a pilot, one is a, I don't know, remember the other two. I'm an engineer. Um, and so you're sp- basically, you're just, you're just watching the screen uh, like you're looking through a window on, mm-hmm. on the rocket and, and you do certain things at certain times, right? And so that was fun. I, I quite enjoyed that. I really wished that we could have done the other one too. Yeah. So if we're ever there again, Maddie... You want to try that one out? I would love to try that. Then we went to a fro- the Frozen Ever After. Yes. Thing, which was basically just a ride where you get told the story of Frozen. Yeah. In, in what, five minutes? Yeah, but the, <laughs> the part where you get to Elsa's castle and she like pushes you back. Oh, that's right. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Um. The, the notable thing about that ride for me was, I mean, it was kind of cool, you know, Frozen the, the, being part of that story and the music and, uh, you know, the songs and stuff is, OK, so I, what I'm used to, like Disneyland, for example, I didn't see this at all at Disneyland. Uh, so this must be a new thing is so for the animated movies like Frozen. Th- instead of having. Animatronic dummies that look like those characters you mean like pirates the ride yeah yeah sure pirates and other rides at disneyland right is that yes there are there are dummies and they're dressed up like those characters but instead of having a face that maybe moves a mouth or uh turns their head and that's about it they actually project the faces of elsa and anna and other characters onto these flat heads yeah. right there there's there's no features on these heads and i'm like wow that's different um it looked kind of weird in my it kind of weird yeah a little bit yeah but but it works i mean yeah. that way they don't have to they can use these dummies I, I don't know why i keep using that word but i don't know what they're called mannequins mannequins thank you uh they can reuse these mannequins for all different things if you know if one breaks down they can bring in so they don't have to keep making this the same mold anyway. It's, yeah, that's that's actually a pretty good thing. And one of the things that I liked about that ride, which you don't see very much, I feel like, is marshmallow. They added marshmallow in the end. Um, her big um snow monster. Oh, is that the name of that creature? Mm-hmm. Oh. His name's Marshmallow. <laughs> I forgot that. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, and then all of the little like the crazy like toddler snowmen. Mm-hmm. They added those guys, yeah, too. Yeah. I thought that was cute. Yeah, it was cute. Uh, then we, uh, I think we we're just walking around a little bit. Uh, you guys, I, I was, I volunteered to, to, to stay behind with Hudson because he was sleeping at the time. And you guys went into the uh, Journey of Water, inspired by Moana, this little walkthrough thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That. And it's like, oh, no, you guys go ahead. And, and I just hung out with Hudson and he woke up. Or no, maybe that was a different watching the birds was it that i think it maybe it was we were watching the birds no no that was a different never mind different different area altogether um but anyway so i, I stayed behind with him and um then you guys came out and you're like oh you gotta go you gotta go in this kids i think kids told me you, you should go into that 
And so you and I went in there together yep. with Hadley. Yeah, Hadley and, ran after you. <laughs> and it was it was just, you know, walking through and you were reading these things about about the land and water and the relationship and and all this stuff. And uh, were there, was there any music from Moana playing at that thing? Or am I mixing that up with something else? I don't remember. There wasn't very, like, distinct um, music playing, but there, I think there might have been a little bit. Yeah, and so some of the stuff was interactive, like you could put your hands over things and that would cause the water in front of you to do, to either yeah. spurt out or, you know, do something. Like, mm-hmm. oh, there was one where you, if you raised your hands up really fast... At the same time, it would cause the water in front of you to like kind of jump up like it's a wave crashing on on the land. Yeah. So that was kind of neat. Uh, so a lot of things like that. I, I came out of that like that was probably one of the coolest things I've seen. Yeah. And that, what grandma was very excited about was Tafiti. Oh, yeah. We saw Tafiti in that a, a, a recreation of her. But what was really that. So that kind of experience, that's the kind of things I wish there were more of. at Epcot. Yeah. So I, I was sh- expecting more stuff like that. Yeah. I was, I guess I was too. I was ha- kind of hoping we would go into the Epcot Dome. Oh, the, yeah, me too. I, uh, well, the, the thing that's in that, there's a ride in there. And, um, I enjoyed that ride when we first went there. The, well, we went there the first time. I don't think anybody else wanted to do that. So, but you know, there's only so much we can do in a day, right? Yeah. Plus because of the weather, we all just wanted to leave. <laughs> well, okay. So. Part of Epcot, like you said, and like we were both excited for, was all these different parts of the world. They're supposed yes. to recreate that or evoke that, those those areas, those lands. And so you walk in, I think the first one was England. Yep. Uh, there's tea time. Uh, uh, Norway. There's, yes. I don't know, Mexico, Germany. China. China, uh, France. Um, they had Japan as well. Japan, you're right. Um, Italy. And I think one other one. Anyway, so all these different areas. And so we we walked through or walked by a lot of them. Actually, when we I, I messed up when we first got there, first got to Epcot, basically we got in and it's it's England. Right. And so there's a pub <laughs> as soon as you get there. And so Brittany uh, Lucas and I went in and we ordered a couple couple pints yeah, you guys did that while we went over to the tea place and was That's looking right. at yeah. that stuff, but yeah. they weren't like serving tea, right. which I was hoping they would. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, that's kind of neat. And there actually was a fish and chips shop there too. That that's where I had dinner. So we ended yep. up getting dinner where we wanted to that day instead of all going to one place and having dinner. And so I saw that fish and chips place as we walked in. I'm like, oh my god, I have to go there. So, and that I was good. I don't remember what I had. That was good. That was not the best fish and chips I had. The best fish and chips I've ever had has been in Scotland, at, at in, in Edinburgh. But this is this was a, a distant second. Wasn't that night the pl- night where I wasn't feeling anything there, so I just got salad. I um the hotel. No, okay. oh, well, I think you did get salad too, because because okay. uh, you guys ended up some of you guys ended up doing a food run. When we got back to the hotel, but no, I, you, yeah, it was me, got, Grandma, and Lucas. Yeah, you got a couple things, okay, someplace there, but yeah, uh, I forgot to mention our lunch. We went to Brittany had scheduled lunch at um, in Germany, and we went to this um, all you can eat place uh, that was pretty good for Germany, and they also gave us well, it was good to us. I know you didn't like it all that much. Uh, uh, how do you feel about warm potato salad? Ew. <laughs> First of all, I don't like potato salad. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you're missing out because it's good stuff. But that was how I feel like about I wasn't really in the mood. Yeah. For, so. Yeah, well. Um, there was also, uh, they also put on a show for us. We got a little Bavarian music, German music. Uh, people in their lederhosen and, and uh, playing playing uh, the accordion and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that was a, I thought that was a very entertaining show. Probably because I uh, I had a flight of German beer, and that was, uh, you know, that's that. It's that, I'm a pretty simple guy. You give me you give me some beer, I'm happy. <laughs> I mean, for me, I feel like I was also kind of disappointed with some of the drink options because over there in Florida, they don't got Dr Pepper, oh, and I couldn't get Dr Pepper anyway. In Disney World, there there was no Dr Pepper. Mm-mm. 
Yeah. Disney World, that one restaurant we got, we went to that first night, they didn't have it either. Oh, yeah, it's not. Just like, it's not. A thing it's now, not right? It wasn't really a thing. Yeah. And I was like, so disappointed. Yeah. Because you guys brought us like Dr. Pepper, but it's like at that point, when we get back, it's we're just going to bed. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, we had gone to a store to pick up some some, some supplies. Yeah. Uh, one of one of which was a, a twelve pack of Dr Pepper to share. Uh, so that was day two. Day three, more rain. rain. But this time we were more prepared for it, and I wasn't as cold. <laughs> yes, yes. So you did not wear a skirt that day. No, I did not. I yeah. wore pants and the um rain thingy. I don't remember I, what it's called. A poncho. Yeah, poncho. Yeah. The rain poncho. I. Well, I had. I didn't like it very I much, had, but yeah. I had brought ponchos that I purchased many years ago for camping purposes that we never used. So I brought those with me and we had those on for a while. But even then... No, so, I wore shorts that day, actually. Oh, did you? Yeah, and then that's the day we got... What are, What were you thinking? I don't know. That's the day I got sweatpants because I was freezing. Weirdo. Okay, so, um, so uh, we went to Hollywood Studios that day. Yes. And so while it was still raining and it rained pretty much all day, I didn't feel like it was as much rain as the first day. But it it, seemed, it was kind of on and off. It seemed colder that day. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we like I said, I brought ponchos, but they were like these really thin, not not great ponchos. Mm-hmm. And uh, finally, yeah, you you got some sweatpants. Brittany had got fed up and bought. Uh, they bought an umbrella, a Disney branded umbrella. They bought Disney branded ponchos, which were really good ponchos. Yeah, and we actually. got some. And we ended up pretty much all of us got new ponchos. Uh, that was the day that we went to the frozen sing-along. Yes. Where, again, they tell the story. (laughs) But it was hosted by these two, uh, performers slash comedians. Yes. And they were supposed to be the Arendelle historians. Yes. Yes. That would, that's the, the premise of it. But they, they told some pretty good jokes and not, not always... I don't know. I felt like, uh, given that the the audience is probably mostly children, that the some of their other jokes were borderline. <laughs> you know, probably you know, with with they're they're going over the heads of the kids, but the adults are. You know, I was I find my I found myself laughing quite a bit at their jokes. So that was that was pretty good. I mean, the sh- you know, the sh- besides that, it's like uh, how many times do I have to see this story of Frozen told again in a different way? Hey, at least Hadley's not back into her Frozen air. I don't mind that though, kid. Little kids being into that stuff, it's fine. And then, of course, we got to ride the best ride in any theme park ever. And my favorite ride of all time. The ride that terrorized me. (laughs) The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Now, in California, that has been rebranded as a Guardians thing. Guardians of the Galaxy Prison Breakout. Whatever. Um, It should never have done. It's a travesty that they changed it. But... um, uh, so, it, but it's, I mean, it's the same ride, but it's just, you know, skin differently, but I like the skin. I like the twilight zone stuff. It's creepy. Oh no, it did seem much shorter. Well, I loved it. I, I would go on that many, many times if I could. Um, I wish I had another opportunity to go on it, but it's, you know, we, we could only do so much in a day. Like I've been saying. I do like their, like when they're closing the doors, they're good luck. Oh yeah. The, walk away. the guy who, who, uh, ushered us in, he's yeah. He's just like, good luck, and then turns around. Well, no, but it but it wasn't like he was like saying, hey, good luck, guys. It was more like, good luck. I know. <laughs> I thought it was great. Um, I love that they get to just be creepy like that. Yes. If yes. I worked there, I would work there. Yeah. I even took a few pictures as we were going into, you know, the, the queue area where you can see the lobby of the hotel. I wanted you to get a picture of the... Um, like picture frame kind of thing that has the letters in it. On like in the bottom, yeah. Because in the bottom it says it has letters that have fallen, and it says take the stairs. Oh, I missed that. I That's was, what you were talking. about. I was about. trying to get you to look, and you wouldn't. Well, I I took a picture of that, and you're like, no, this, and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. And we had to move because the line was moving. Yeah. So anyway, later that day, uh, I think we split up at this point. The so you and I. Yeah. Uh, walked around the Star Wars area because when we were there in California, 
I did not get to go to the shops. I wanted to go to see what they have there. Yeah. And uh, it the, was pretty much the exact same. Well, yeah, yeah it was, but I, I didn't get to see the shops. So yeah. we didn't ride any of the rides in Star Wars, no. but we, you and I went around and w- went to every shop, yep. I think. And eventually uh, we went to the droid place and uh, one of us bought, uh, bought a droid. You want to tell him about it? Yeah, I bought a um, BB 8 droid and. It was fine. Like, the price of it was cheaper than I was expecting. Yeah, me too. But you also didn't... You just bought the base model. You could have yeah. You could have bought the personality chips or whatever yeah, they call I them. Yeah, I could have, but I you didn't. You could have designed your own droid. You know, you know, just how much money do you want to spend? And Yeah. But as I was buying the BB-8 droid, they had a smaller droid up on the counter where you pay. <laughs> and it... Like that droid, because I'm sure it has a personality chip, got all offended and it was really funny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was mostly concerned about, you know, are we going to be able to ship this home? And But, but we figured that out. Grandma helped you figure that out. So um, I, I really thought I almost bought one too. I really wish you did. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't want to spend the money. <laughs> so, all right. Maybe next time. Uh, all right. Maybe so, next time I'll get a saber. Maybe. Well, uh, that was a thing. No, we did. We did walk through that area, but it was there were so many people in there. Yeah. And I didn't even get to see how much it cost to get a saber. I don't know. Yeah. And so, yeah, and maybe it's something uh, for us to do next time we're there. But uh, day four, this is your big day. This is the whole reason we went to Universal Studios. It was for you yeah. specifically uh, to go to the Harry Potter stuff. And best of all, no rain. Yeah, no it was actually day. nice and warm. Oh my gosh! Uh, and and f- unfortunately, I kind of dressed warmly for for colder weather, and whew, it was getting warm by the end of the day. I was warm, but uh, <laughs> it's better than being in the rain and the cold, right? That is true. But I got more stuff for my Harry Potter outfit. Yeah, uh, but we started off our day going over to the the castle, and this is the yes. Ho- Hogsmeade Forbidden Journey ride. Which I believe we we went on in it's California. This, yeah, it's the same one that they have in California. Which I did not realize when we got into it. And we were already in the line. I mean, like, that's what I was thinking. And I'm pretty sure I said something about it. But I think grandma or someone or you, I don't know. You said it was different. And well, then it, it was the same ride. And it, I absolutely hate that ride. It looked different because of the castle and the entrance and stuff. So I, yeah. I, I you know, I, I didn't read up on all the rides before we went in. I was just like, okay, yeah. let's do it. I don't like that ride because of how dark it is. And yeah. I hate the spiders. I knew exactly. Yeah. Yeah. My eyes were already closed, but I knew exactly where we were by the sound. Mm-hmm. And you're like, hey, look, it's your favorite part. And I was like, don't <laughs> even. Well, at least, at least this, we didn't stop. I was going to say, at least this time I didn't. the ride didn't stop on us. Yeah, because last time I was by myself <laughs> with a bunch of random people. Yeah. You guys were together, so I didn't have any of you guys, and it stopped, and the spiders <laughs> kept moving. All right. Um, after we got off of that, we were, we were I think we got in line to go on the Hogwarts Express, which is a tr- the actual train that you get on, and it takes you from one the one part of the Harry Potter area to the other part. Yes. Other part in the park, the Universal Studios Park. But... Uh, the wait was too long. It was going to be like 45 minutes, right? Something or was like that, that the second time that we got? That was the second time. Okay. So I think maybe it was. I was like, it was like two hours. Two hours. You're right. Two hours just to get on this freaking train. And we decided because we really wanted to get over to the other area for the other things that were there. We just walked and it took us, what did I say? 15 minutes? Yeah. Something like that. Less than 15 minutes to walk We're stopping. There. Yeah. We stopped a, a few places. And so kind of like Epcot. Uh, where we walk through, you know, there's there's the Dr. Seuss land. Yeah. Um, there's the thing you talked about earlier, which is like the kind of like the, the Mayan the land. The gods type area. I don't know why I went from Greek to Mayan, but I, I did. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's a few different things. It's yeah. Greek. Uh, there was some, like I said, there was a, an, uh, like a, a uh, Arab type area yeah. or Af- African. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But um, uh, Arabian, not Arab, Arabian type area. Uh, I was really few, hoping we a few would other things think... as well. Yeah, but there's that. There's also recreations of San Francisco and New York, and that's where at one. So we we're walking through, and I'm like, I see this this Irish shop in the New York area, yeah. right right as you're crossing into San Francisco, and 
uh, I take a quick look in there. I'm like, oh, I need to come back here. And so, uh, which I did eventually when we were coming back mm-hmm. uh, to, on that walk back to the other, the other, the other park. Uh, and I ended up, well, I actually passed by and I'm like, I decided, no, I'm not going to spend the money. But grandma encouraged me. I'm like, okay. And I went back and bought a, an Ireland, green Ireland shirt with the, the, the color, the flag colors on the chest. I thought you got two shirts. And I also bought a rugby jersey, which is the main reason I wanted to go back to that shop because it's like, there's an Ireland rugby jersey. And like, I can, because the, the, the Guinness Six Nations tournament was going on at that time. And I thought, I'm going to buy this, come back from our trip and watch Ireland beat the crap out of everybody. Uh, Unfortunately, unfortunately, I totally missed all the Guinness Six Nations (laughs) games after we got back uh but i can i can watch the replays so i'm gonna do that soon some weekend soon all right uh let's see what else we what we got here uh oh yeah that's right we because we walked back to go to diagon alley yep right and so that was that i think we spent the most time in diagon alley yes, the, of the day mm-hmm. right because that uh, Other than there is no diagon alley in, in california yeah so what, you, what was it? What, say that again. I said other than our two hours in line. Yeah. That well, was well, our longest. See, you're always jumping the gun. Sorry. So, okay. So we get there. We're just looking around. We're basically doing a, a big circle around Diagon Alley, stopping yep. in some shops, some of which uh, are repeats from California. Yes. Some of them are different. Like one of the different ones that I really enjoyed. Like I was really looking forward to Fred and George's joke shop. Mm-hmm. But they didn't really have that much. Yeah, it was that was a pretty was, small portion. I was really disappointed about that one. Yeah. But one of the other places that I thought was really cool that um, they had there that's not in California is the animal like pet shop for oh yeah mm-hmm. the um, students. Yeah. yeah, that was cute. Yeah, sure. And that's where I got my little owl, Eduardo Linguini. Oh right, you got one of the white. Yes. Uh, baby owls baby owls yeah oh that's the one that that coos at you and moves its head and stuff and its wings and everything yeah yeah i thought that was cute yes (laughs) because now i have a pet have you have you gotten that out since we got back yeah it's in my room do you mess with it or anything sometimes okay okay i just haven't seen you messing with it usually you bring that stuff like that up in it to annoy me and or not really, but you know. I don't do it to annoy you. I know. I, know. I just do it because they're cute. I know. I love it, Eduardo. Um, I think about that time. Then we went because we were hungry, and it was time to eat lunch. And we went to the Leaky Cauldron. Oh yes, that place. <laughs> so we get in line, and it takes like what? It took like thirty. It took a while. Maybe close to forty minutes before they sat us. Yeah. Right. And. Uh, we get there, they seat us, I mean, uh, this little table and the person who walked us there just walks off. Yeah. And Didn't say and anything, and just left. Yeah. Just walked off and we're sitting there and, and we're, we're expecting someone to come up and, uh, and take our order and, you know, some minutes pass and nothing. And I'm kind of looking around going, were we supposed to order at the front? Cause I saw people going up at the front where we, where we were waiting in line to, to and and picking up food but it turns out those people were the wait staff i i had mis misread who they were and fortunately uh i'm trying to i'm trying to look stuff up on my phone trying to figure out what yeah, we supposed to do we here? were all talking yeah everybody was talking or or you know we were all just really i think just bushed by this point right we were all just walking around just tired yeah but we were all talking trying to figure out yeah. how to get food yeah and also deciding what we want. Well, they, yeah. they had they had the, basically had the menu up at, when we were standing in line. Yeah. So I think we had already decided what we wanted. And then I think we were as we were talking about this. Fortunately, we were sitting right next to this this man and his daughter, and he's like, "You have to have, you order on the app." I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. And so we did that. We finally ordered our food and drink, and so it just it just took lo- much longer than I, I had hoped. Because of that, I it's just like they should have something on the freaking table to explain it. Yeah, uh, they did have like a barcode on the table, but I, I, you know, I thought that was just like for the menu, which I already had access to because I was looking at the Universal app. Yeah. Um. So I didn't think about it, and and uh, yeah. So they should have something on the table to explain it, or something 
maybe they did and I missed it, but you know, something as you're standing in line to explain there the wasn't process. Anything. Like, I was bored and looking the, around. Or at the very least, the wait person should tell you before they they leave the table. Yeah. They sit, sit you down. It's like, come on. Because I thought you could just go up to the front and order there because I thought I was seeing people do that. Yeah, yeah. But then he said you can't, so. Yeah, yeah. So, um, unlike Disney, which is very helpful and yeah. explains everything, the 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 dining experience at uh you know at the leaky cauldron at least was not the best but i will yeah. say the food because i got i got a cottage pie and a fish pie i don't remember what surprisingly i got surprisingly good especially that fish pie now i want to make fish pies no and, thanks <laughs> yes someone some people in my family don't like seafood and i don't understand it but yeah anyway so that, at least we had that we uh did we get anything like harry potter like we never got a butter beer no, because we tried butterbeer in California yeah, and didn't, yeah, like, didn't it. like it. Uh, anything um, else? Did we not? Did we have any other snacks while we were there that are Harry Potter esque? I mean, I got that frozen icing, but that's it. Frozen icing? Yeah. I don't know what that is. The icing I got right before we went to go get food. Oh, oh, it, it's, and it was super, it's super frosting. Stiff. It's it's cake frosting made to look like ice cream. Oh, yeah. That's like, like a like a Sunday or something. Yeah. Um, OK. Is that a Harry Potter thing or is that just a. I don't know. It was just one of the things that they were selling in Harry Potter. OK. okay. Uh, we but, did. Yeah, that was like it for food. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Well, yeah, that was plenty. Other than my good churros in Universal Studios. Oh, you did. You. So, yeah, you had mentioned earlier or in the previous episode now about the you, you made mention about the. The churros. No, no, this was before we start recording. <laughs> you, uh, you made a comment uh, earlier today about um, the churros not being great at uh, Disney World. Yeah, they just, they weren't as like um, cinnamon, cinnamon sugary. Oh, yeah, you're right. I remember And that. they were kind of just bland. Yeah. But the ones that you, and like kind of like hard, but the ones at Universal were like really soft and had all like cinnamon sugar kind of like california's disneyland yeah, churros and so, they were so really good a better ex- at least at least that was a better experience yeah than i got good churros <laughs> one of the days we did end up riding hogwarts express yes was that to go yeah it was to go back to the first land that we yep. were in because you wanted to ride the hagrid's motorbike adventure yes. ride Let's talk about Hogwarts Express, though. So we stood in line interminably long. It was a four, that was the forty-five minute wait. It was so. Um, it was kind of cool, just in the sense of oh, this is you know because you're it's like you're waiting to get on the train, just like Harry Potter and all this stuff, and you got the you got the, the what is the nine and three quarters? Is that the thing? Yes. Okay. You go into nine and three quarters. Yeah. Yeah. And so you're just standing in line and, and uh, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. But then you get they get you into a car. And we were in with another group. Uh, and then the doors close and the windows are opaque. Yeah. So, you know, we can't see out of them. And as you go, then suddenly. We hear voices, we hear Harry Potter and, and Ron and um, uh, Hermione talking and uh, there's also some video right on one yeah. side so it's like it's the window outside yeah the outside window and uh and so it's some sort of adventure that they're that we're part of with them yes and then also um there is a little bit of stuff that you kind of see yeah um like shadows yes. or whatever well that's what i was gonna say so what are those are they death bringers death eaters death eaters and what am i thinking them- of and Dementors. Is it Dementors that I'm... that I'm Probably. So anyway, I, I'm sitting... The ones that suck your soul out? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, the Dementors. I, I'm sitting uh, right next to the door. And out of the corner of my eye at one point, I see this movement. And then I see this shadow moving across the opaque windows that I'm sitting next to. And it's one of the Dementors, I guess. And so that was kind of cool. However... And so, you know, you go through that and then you're in the next, in the next, the next area. The well, next... Harry Potter also shows up. Yeah. Well, in on the video. Well, yeah. It's not like he's I know. physically there. I'm saying like with the Dementor thing, yeah, there's yeah. a whole thing. Well, anyway, so. Kitra didn't like that. She thought it was lame. What did you think about it? 
We waited all that time just for that. Well, but it was like, but I didn't even actually didn't even expect this to be a, you know, ride per se. I just thought it was a means of transportation to get from one end to the other. I did not expect that at all. So I, I thought it was kind of neat. I was expecting more from it, but yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Um, okay, then, yeah, we went, we went all the way back to the other area because you could not leave until we rode Hagrid's motorbike adventure. And it was a two hour, more than two hour wait in line. What do you have to say for yourself? It was worth it. (laughs) So, yeah, Madison wanted to go on this. I'm like, okay, fine. Um, I I said we didn't have to go. I know. You you were very gracious about that. Uh, I mean, it's not like you threw a fit because you weren't going to be able to ride it. But I was done. I I did not want to do this anymore. Uh, Kitcher did not want to go stand in line again. So I I said, yes, let's go. Uh, Let's go stand in line. We'll go ride this ride. And like I said, it was... I timed it. It was over two hours waiting in that freaking line. Yeah. So this is, um, I believe this is the old Dueling Dragons ride that they've converted to this. And so I was expecting more of the Dueling Dragons type thing, which I told you about as we were standing in line. And I was excited because that was my favorite ride when we were in uh, Universal Studios Florida the last time. Yeah. Brittany and I really like that ride. So I was expecting something like that, just just skinned with Harry Potter stuff. That's not what this was. <laughs> it was a completely different ride. It was still uh, a coaster-like experience. But what they do, instead of sticking you in just like a cart, a regular roller coaster cart, uh, one of you gets on Hagrid's motorbike and one of you gets into the sidecar. And uh, because it's the ride you wanted to ride, you you chose the motorbike. And I forget, did they, was it just a lap strap or was it more than that to hold you onto it? No, it was like just a lap strap. Lap strap. Yeah, I think it's the same thing for me. But I got in, obviously got in the sidecar, which was a, a um, interesting experience. After having standed in line for two hours, my knees were shot. My feet were hurting. And it's like I was it was very, I was very slow going. And they were basically trying to get hurt everybody in as quickly as possible. I'm like, oh, my God. But we get on it and it zooms off. Mm-hmm. And we're going along, blah, blah, blah. And you can hear some things, Hagrid talking in uh, uh, in certain areas and other people. I don't remember exactly. But why don't you tell them what the most interesting part of this ride was? So at one point you are like going on the ride, you're going like down one of the drops, like underground, and you kind of stop and you sit there for a second. And then all of a sudden it, the drops you the track drops the you. track drops you down and then you go on to a completely different track yeah and it was a lot of fun and very unexpected was it i forget was this the one where we went forwards and then backwards or am i confusing that with one of the other rides in disney world we did go forwards and then backwards and then forward and then drop and then, and drop. then yeah forward. okay okay yeah. so yeah it was just like it was a lot and it was fun. But it was it was that unexpected quality of mm-hmm. that drop that was like, oh, that's different. You know, it was it was kind of neat to tool around like mm-hmm. you're flying on Hagrid's motorbike. But it wasn't like it wasn't like the Guardians ride where, um, you know, the, the cars turned and you're, yeah. you have the video experience and stuff like that. But, you know, it wasn't bad. I, I it was probably one of my top five rides that we did. It was uh, fun. Those those five days in Disney World slash Universal. So, yeah, that was pretty good. All right. And so that was our fourth day there. Last day, day five, the Magic Kingdom, where we had a lot of interesting things happen. First of all, we met Ariel in her grotto. So we got in line to uh, there was. You're starting there. I'm starting there. Where, where, where do you want to start with Magic Kingdom? I don't Oh, I was just like, there, there's a lot I'm just, that happened I'm just in doing the morning. I'm doing the highlights. Uh, okay. So was there, do you remember anything? It was just like the performance that was going on when we got there uh-huh. on the stage sure. with all those characters yeah. that we sat there and watched. Like there was that. Which, and then, char- which characters were those? It was the, Mickey and the gang. And then it was um, Rapunzel. Oh, okay. Flynn Rider, like those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then like 
four different couples and then a bunch of different Disney characters. Wow. That, that tells you how impressed I was by that because I don't remember that at all. I mean, when you say it, it's like, oh, yeah, I, I vaguely remember this, but I, yeah, I don't remember that. Anything else before Ariel? Um, I think the parade was after. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but we did go meet Ariel. Mm-hmm. So this is one of those uh, meet and greet type situations where you stand in line and wait and you get your picture taken with her. And, you know, it's, it's mostly for the kids. Um, and so when we got up there. Hudson and Hadley went up to have their picture taken with Ariel. And I was real, and I was watching all of this go on. You know, it's just really cute to see your grandkids interact with a Disney character, right? And the 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 cast member, I thought, was fantastic. You know, she was engaging the kids. She was talking to them, looking at them. You know, they really do a great job of making the kids feel special. And then you wanted to get in there, and so this is the the really cool thing I thought about this. So the kids get up. And, you know, Brittany's collecting them and you go in there and we we were kind of that. Well, Brittany and Lucas and the kids were walking out and I was I backed up out of the way and I was just standing there and Ariel sees the kids walk out with with mm-hmm. their parents. And yet you're standing there, but we all came in together and and she had this confused look on her face and she's like pointing uh, or referring to you. And, and it's like, oh, you're part of the same school. Mm hmm school of fish i thought oh my god that is that's amazing that she just threw that out there you know maybe that's one of those lines that they learn for those situations or something i don't know but i thought it was really cool that she was so in character at that yeah moment. i was like i know that one of the things that these disney princesses and characters have to do they have to go through a lot of training oh yeah i'm sure and just they have to stay in character, so anything that they say has to be in character. Yeah. I know, like, there are certain, like, signatures and stuff that they have to learn. And, oh, like, sure. the way they yeah. present themselves. But mm-hmm. usually when it comes to, like, them talking, it's whatever they think of. Yeah. And yeah. so it's like... Yeah, yeah. They, they, I, I, it seemed like an ad-libbed moment. Mm-hmm. But it was it was precisely in character. I thought that was just and delightful. I, just, I love that with the Disney characters, just their interactions, like, with the kids and then just, like... With people in general, like it, you don't have to be a kid. Mm-hmm. Like they will give you the same interaction. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I love it about it. I'm sure if, if I had wanted a picture with her, which I thought would that be kind of creepy, but it, that she would just treat me, you know, like everybody else and, and, and be engaging and charming and whatnot. So. All right. Um, the next the next highlight. And if there's anything I'm missing, please jump in. Uh, but uh, we went. Thank God. To the Monsters Inc. laugh floor. I think that was one of the next things. Yeah, because I was, I was just, I was done. Uh, I mean, I, I, I enjoyed everything that we did, but by that last day, I was, my body was, was beat. I was, I did not want to do anything. I just wanted to sit down, and so I got to sit down for a while, but then I had a great show because that was legitimately funny. Mm-hmm. The jokes they were telling, the gags, I. I was very impressed. I would go see that again for sure. Uh, next thing I have is the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train Coaster. Yeah. Which, uh, what I remember of that one is when we first started out, you go up the track. Yeah, because that's this when tunnel, I was sitting by myself. Through this tunnel, and um, they're playing the, the Seven Dwarfs song, Hi Ho, Hi Ho, you know that. Yeah. And I start, You're going to start singing the I song. I start singing along. <laughs> um, I haven't heard that in years, so. Uh, well, I part of that is just I don't like Snow White. I've never liked the story. No, that's a good one. I don't know. There's something wrong with you if you don't like Snow White. (laughs) I don't like Sleeping Beauty either. (laughs) No. Or Cinderella. You stop right there. Sleeping Beauty is my favorite of the classics. Really? Yes. I love that one. Well, she is my favorite of the classic Disney princesses. I just I'm not a big fan of the story. Whatever. I do love Maleficent, though. Do you remember uh, any? Yes. Um, do you remember any, anything distinctive about the Seven Dwarfs coaster? Not really. It was it just it was just a little coaster? It, it wasn't was just a wasn't coaster. even a yeah. It wasn't even a big coaster. So wait, that's the one I was riding with Grandma on, isn't it? I don't. Or was it a Slinky Dog? I Never don't mind. Know. Yeah, we did ride Slinky Dog, didn't we? Yeah, we rode Slinky Dog or yeah, it was Slinky Dog that I was riding with her and I was laughing and she got mad at me. Yeah, I don't I don't, I don't remember much about that one. Later that day, late in the day, we ended up riding 
one of the signature rides at the park, which is the new or newish, I guess, the Tron light cycle. So much fun. Oh, my God. So much fun. So, I mean, really, it's it, it actually reminded me a bit of the Hagrid ride, the same kind of. Yeah, the bikes. It's well, I mean, it's yeah, and their bikes, but um, the the motion of the coaster, the the speed of it, it wasn't a high intensity ride like I thought it would be because and granted, I've not seen the movie, but I've seen enough. You haven't seen the movie. I've not seen the original Tron. It's one of those geek absences in my life that I really need to rectify. I loved that movie for a while. You've seen the first one? The original? I don't know which one I've seen. I know I've seen at least two. Well, there's only two. Well, then, yes, I've and, seen And the second one came out within the last two or three years. Hmm. Anyway. I don't know. So, um... Based on what I do know of it, though, because the light cycle is the thing you know about. I think I my only experience with Tron before this ride was playing the video. Well, watching my friend Greg play the video game um, in one of the uh, stores that we would go to convenience stores that we would go to as kids. Um, But but in that there's these really, you know, those those cycles can go like, I think, go like 90 degrees in in an instant. Yeah. Right. To block your opponent Mm -hmm. and it's insane and they love the movie for that and they try to emulate that whole race situation Uh, because they also have the um show going on while you're inside yeah yeah but i didn't i didn't feel like it was the anticipation was more than the result of the ride i guess so i really enjoyed it it was still it was still fun i would i would ride it again um, I think the the most interesting thing about it for me was being on the bike in, the, in instead of in a car, on a, which is usually what happens in, in those kind of rides. And so you're kind of up, you're kind of elevated. And um, so there's that a little bit of uh, trepidation there because, you know, is this is a safe? <laughs> of course, it's safe. You know, it's a it's a ride, but uh, it's a ride at Disney World. But um, but yeah, I was I mean, it was especially when we got out it was twilight outside and all the lights of the the outside part of the building were lit up in that that blue uh from tron and uh it was this great sunset going on at the same time i took mm-hmm. a picture of that and posted it on social media because because in the background i could you could see the castle yeah. cinderella's castle so and that is the next thing i want to talk about because there's aurora's castle in disneyland but it's more of a uh it's just a walkthrough experience yeah it, well yeah it's there's it's not it's not a castle and it's not like something you go into really. i mean you can walk through little but it's right. very small it's very small right uh cinderella's castle which i did not realize at first until Brittany was explaining dinner for us uh, maybe a night or two before you can actually go in the castle. There's a restaurant in the castle. Yeah, because you thought we were going to a completely different place. Yeah, I, I saw a place nearby that I thought, oh, that's where we're going. Yeah, because I had to go back and forth with you for a minute, and yeah, then I told you yeah. to go ask Brittany. That's, that's, that shows you how much I pay attention on these trips. Um, and just give me the information you know for the day, and that's it. Yeah, that's why Brittany has been planning <laughs> and like, yeah, doing yeah. all of that stuff. Yeah. Which she's is like, which is fun. That's fine. Yes, yeah. she 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 chooses really cool things that I like. I appreciate. <laughs> um, but yeah, we had uh, this dinner in the castle. Yeah, and that was the night that they were doing fireworks. Or we also met Cinderella. Oh yes, when we c- just just kind of like when uh, at, at the cruise, I forgot about that. So you g- you go in when you first come into it while they're waiting to seat you. You have an opportunity to say hello and take a picture with Cinderella, yep. which you did as well as the kids. Mm-hmm. Um, Hadley wanted me to go up there with her. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really cool. That was uh, just really cute to see you guys doing stuff like that together. Um, and then they, t- they take you upstairs or well, you, yeah, you go upstairs. Lots of stairs. Lots of stairs. Uh, there's also an elevator, but we, I wanted to walk up um, and they seat you at the table, take, take your order, get your drinks and all that stuff. And then during dinner, a bunch of princesses come greet you, come walk around and talk to everybody, take pictures with you. Um, who did we meet? So we met Jasmine. Jasmine, yes. Merida. Merida. So let's stop there for a second because Merida is 
my wife's favorite Disney princess, if you will. And she is also one of the princesses you don't see in the park very often. That's very true. Yeah. Well, I assume it's very true. I, 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 I've, I've seen her when we went to Disneyland I've, both times. and I saw her once. Yeah. When we were in Disneyland, and it was the first time we went, and that I don't know how I remember that, but I do. Eh. Uh, I hadn't seen her in the parks walking around ever since well, then. Well, no, but she, you always it's the, usually where where they have the, the stations yes. where they they you know they they rotate through. I saw her there. I didn't see her walking around like some of the others, which is what I'm talking about. Because yeah. like Rapunzel, Flynn Rider, those kind of, those they walk around the parks yeah, yeah. like all the time, and then always like Peter Pan, yeah. Alice in oh, Wonderland. You, you saw Peter characters. Pan walking around at some point, right? Yeah, and I missed it. I I I, I don't know what how, or how come I couldn't find him, but he anyway. walked. Well, I stepped outside when you guys were in the store getting Hadley her Rapunzel oh. dress. Oh, okay, and he had been walking around and went around a corner uh, and then down the like walkway. So all right, all right. So yeah, we got, uh, so Merida, so Kitra is like, uh, when she saw Merida was there, she's like, I need a picture with her. And so it was so cute when uh, Kitra asked Merida if she could take a picture with her and not just with the kids, right? So I have that picture uh, that I shared with her. Um, who else did we see? Aurora. Uh-huh. And... There was one There's or two one more. more, right? Or There's just one, one more. more. Um, oh, who man. was the last one? Was it Mulan? Maybe. Let, let me look real quick. Well, we, we don't have time for that. If you get it, that's fine. But so it, we, there was that. We had our dinner, which was pretty good. Not as good as some of the food on the cruise, I would say, but still good. Uh, and then we were where we were sitting. We could actually see the fireworks show. And it's like we were really close. It seemed like we were really close to it. So at least we got to because we were concerned about we wouldn't be able to the kids wouldn't be able to see the fireworks. But we were all able to see at least, you know. Some part of the yeah. Fabric, so I pretty much pulled Hadley over so she could to the window actually yeah. see him. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was delightful. That was a nice a nice way to end our day and our trip to Disney World. Yes. A great a great way to end it. And then we we had to get up early the next day to catch our early flight back to Portland so that we could get drive back from Portland to our home the same day. Because I had because school it was, the next day. You had school the next day. Was that a Sunday? Yep. So, yeah. So, so we got home, like, decent time, but it was, it seemed really late well, because we, were, we have been going we for so days. Exhausted. Well, we had, to, we had to get up at, like, 4, 4.30. Yeah, East, there was really no point in sleeping that day. East Coast time to get to the airport, get through security, get on our flight, and then we got home, I want to say around six, so, seven. Something like that, yeah. So Pacific time. Yeah, because you guys went back to the hotel room early, started packing, and I stayed with Brittany and Lucas that night right. and, and you, got home. You guys went on Got that, back late. You guys went on the Tron ride again. And, um, right? Yeah, and Space Mountain. And Space Mountain, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, um, that was a very long and tiring situation. But we had a great time, right? Yeah. I mean, is that the biggest vacation that you've gone on with us so far? Yeah, I think so. The longest time, mm-hmm. most things done, that kind of a thing. Yeah. Obviously, we did Disneyland and whatnot uh, a year ago, but all the other trips that we've done have been like long weekend type things, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, next it will be the the, the next plan. The Europe. the Europe trip. So hopefully we can do that when we plan to. And we'll probably uh, talk talk about it on the podcast again. So, oh, that will be a much <laughs> many well, many different well, parts. You know, this was a this was a week and a half or ten days of vacation, and it's been uh, probably around two and a half hours of of recording time <laughs> to talk about it. So, uh, and that trip is going to be even longer. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. All right. So, Masson, you had a good time on this vacation. Yes. Yes. It was tiring. Uh, sometimes frustrating because of weather and probably some minor arguments <laughs> with people. Yes, uh, and just people along the way, um, kept, and just people generally. People kept like accidentally like touching oh my, my God, arm yeah. or touching me, and yes. I'm like, Ugh. I know the crowd situation, and especially at Disney World, where I was concerned about it on the ship because you use small space and you can't go anywhere. Yeah. Um, it was but not that bad. It wasn't that bad, but Disney World, I I got a I got a little anxious a few times there. 
Yeah. Yeah. And so. I'm like, don't touch me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, besides that, I mean, it was a great time. Uh, we had lots of fun with the kids. And, uh, you know, just hanging out with the family was a lot of fun. And I always enjoy hanging out with you and uh, experiencing new things with you and, and Brittany and others. So all the others. All right. Uh, anything else you want to say about uh, either the Disney Cruise or Disney World slash Universal? No. <laughs> and uh, with that, we're done, I guess. Thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, if you would like to leave us uh, or send me comments about Disney World, your experiences with Disney World or Universal, please do so. Uh, questions for us that we can answer on future episodes of The Gutters, uh, you know, uh, for things maybe we didn't touch on or didn't touch on enough. Either way. Send an email to me, longboxreview at gmail.com. I'm on social media at Longbox Review, or you can leave comments at the website as well. And with that, thank you again for listening, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.